Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm sorry to say this won't be the upbeat positive video about the Ryzen 6000 series announcement. I'd uh, planned to launch my tech Truba career with. I sat down yesterday to make that video and unfortunately found something troubling in the fine print when I did. So I've had to make this video instead. Unfortunately, this video will be focused towards that troubling find, but I am gonna start with something more positive as a reflection of the type of content I intend to produce. So we'll start off with the 6800 XT, and this is exactly the sort of thing that I was hoping to see from AMD. While it's not exactly a clean sweep across the board against the 3080, it's, um, it's impressive. It's certainly a match, and probably beating. You know, these are AMD's numbers, take them with a pinch of salt. It won't be too long until we get uh, independent benchmarks, and then we will know for certain. But this does appear to be an AMD win, and at less power, which is phenomenal. Flicking over to the 6900 XT, the Lisa Sue surprise for the ends, although it wasn't a surprise to all of us who have been paying attention to the leaks. And again, we have very, very good results against this time the 3090. Um, kind of looks like a win. Maybe it's a draw, but we'll just call it a draw just because these are, again, AMD's numbers. We'll see. But um, what are these two little things down here? Rage mode? and smart access memory. They weren't on the last slide, so um, I guess it's over to Scott Herkelman to uh, describe what these are. Two very cool features. The first is a one-click overclocking button we've built into our Radeon software package that we call Rage Mode. AMD smart access memory unlocks the greater amount of high-speed memory from the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards to the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors. Simply pair these components with our 500 series chipset motherboards, enable the setting in the BIOS, and the performance uplift becomes automatic. So, smart access memory seems like a very cool feature for AMD. Not only does it help upsell their CPUs with the promise of more performance, but when you consider that the 6900 XT is a whole $500 cheaper than the 3090, I can see quite a few people being tempted to take that $500 saving, buy themselves a new Zen processor, and um, yeah, get, get the access of these features. So, up to 13% extra performance for these two features is quite an impressive little uptick. Uh, very nice. It is a little bit puzzling though, because 13% faster than the frame rates they've given us for the 6800, which doesn't have these features on, so turn them on, extra 13% performance, and you get more or less a 6900 XT with these features on, according to their slides. These cards are going to be right on top of each other. There is going to be very, very little between them. Six, six and a half percent, you know, accounted for the fact there's overclocking involved in one of these and not on the other, and yeah, they're very, very close. Um, but that isn't actually kind of the issue that I wanted to raise with this. I think it's probably time to talk about rage mode. The first is a one-click overclocking button we've built into our Radeon software package. So, uh, you know nothing about me, so a little bit of context. I have been overclocking and flashing BIOSes since the 9500 Pro, which uh, says here from Tom's Hardware was 2002. That sounds about right to me. Uh, and the only reason I bring this up is because I have known since 2002, or even before that, that if I overclock my hardware, I am throwing away my warranty, which is fine. We all know this. Probably everybody that has found this video already knows this. But I've never had the manufacturer telling me how to do it and what I get for it before. Um, so I think we better check some terms and conditions just to make sure that, you know, what they're advertising for their 6900 XT with Rage Mode on is a performance option that the consumer has with a warranty. Because if they're breaching their warranty to enable Rage Mode, why is it on their marketing slides? So on, I think it was about the third page of the text at the end of the video that everybody, including myself at first, skipped, we have overclocking AMD processors, including, without limitation, altering clock frequencies, multipliers, or memory timing slash voltage to operate beyond their stock specifications will void any applicable AMD product warranty. Overclocking voids warranties, nothing new here. 
even when such overclocking is enabled via AMD hardware and or software. When you combine AMD Smart Access Memory with the one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you love. We're seeing up to a 13% performance increase. A one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you love. A one-click overclocking of Rage Mode will void your warranty. Think you left that bit out of your presentation, guys. I think people will look at the 6900 XT and people you know, don't have 20 years of overclocking experience under their belt or watch all of the, the tech tubers and they'll see the slide. They'll see that the 6900 XT beats the 3090 or whatever with Rage Mode on. Scott's told them that it's one button press, but you can't have this level of performance and a warranty. They are mutually exclusive prospects. I don't know how much Rage Mode adds, 3%, I don't know, but on a thousand dollar product, is three, four, five percent worth the warranty for someone that doesn't even know they're sacrificing it? That's a bit of a tough one, and that kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth because it makes no difference to me. I, if I had one of these cards, and I won't, they're way out of anything I'd ever spend on a card, but if I had one, I'd overclock it. <laughs> if I broke it, I wouldn't expect AMD to replace it. Not everyone's been doing this as long as I have, or perhaps, you know, perhaps as long as you have, but do you know anybody that might press the RAID mode button? Because it said so in the presentation, and there's the performance. It doesn't know that they've ordered their warranty? Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe, maybe AMD will honor warranties, and let's face it, a little bit of an overclock. It's probably not the most aggressive overclock, even with a name like Rage Mode. I, you know. So, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's a non-issue, and I really hope it is. So I've debated myself for a while as to whether I'm going to post this. And if you're watching this, then then I guess I have. Um, but I do just want to add just a tiny little bit more, a bit more clarification. Uh, the disclaimer about overclocking, or one very much like it, has been. You know, it's been standard for a very long time, and I have no issue with it. It's quite valid. Let's face it, if you bought a toaster, ran it 10% you know, more power through it, it burnt your house down, would you really blame the manufacturer of the toaster? No, no, it's no different with GPUs, just because me and a lot of other people regularly run it outside of manufacturer specifications. You know, it's, it's a slightly unique case, but it's no different. Let's face it, this is only ever going to be an issue if there is a problem with uh, AMD software. And who's ever heard of a problem with AMD soft... Oh, yeah, okay, so um, hopefully this isn't an issue. I guess it's just a question of, uh, you know, would you trust uh, AMD software with a thousand of your dollars? I've used uh, AMD drivers for quite a long time, and they are better than a lot of people give them credit for. They have not been without fault, and, you know, $1,000? Mmm, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot of money to trust on. AMD's ability to create working software that doesn't ever do something unexpected. Okay, so let's say that Rage Mode, overclocking, adds 5% performance. You know, it probably doesn't add that much, but let's just go with that for now. Take 5% off of these numbers and 6900 XT loses to the 3090. Um, and AMD really should have just done that because, yeah, it's a loss, but there was a lot of talk about them not managing to match a 3070, even those of us that knew they'd do better than that. We weren't really expecting, you know, well, I wasn't anyway, a genuine challenger to the 3090, you know, just to just get something close to the 3080 was a massive, massive win for AMD this time around. They haven't been in the high end for quite a long time now. So why didn't they take that win? It was honest, good win. Instead, they've tried to claim the performance crown, but they've done it dishonestly. Because um, their slide shows an in-warranty product, the 3090, slightly losing to an out-of-warranty product, the 6900 XT. And I don't think that's clear to everybody, you know, those of us that... No overclocking, yeah, that's pretty clear. But this means it's not even a fair test, is it? Because if the 3090 was overclocked, it would win. So 
it's giving a false impression to people that don't really understand this as well as some of the rest of us. And um, when we're talking about $1,000 and $1,500 products and stealing a win by deceiving the wider audience, even if the minority will understand it, the majority probably a little bit misled by this. And that's kind of my... Uh, yeah, I just needed to get off my chest, I think. So going forward, um, it's derailed my plans a little bit. It's not how I intended to start all of this. But generally, when it comes to the 6900 XT, I'm kind of going to just, just avoid it until we get um, actual performance figures and then we can talk about it in fair comparisons. So, yeah, I'll focus on some of the other stuff. And um not quite sure of my timetable. This is... Well, it's completely different to the plan I had in mind, let's put it that way. Um, so, I don't know, oh, in a week or so, I guess I'll probably have another video out. Um, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes. There will also be some, some gaming coming up on the channel, but for a while we have lots of tech to talk about, so that will be my focus as I... You know, this is my first video, so... Oh, I expect to be slower than I'd like and, and, and miss a few things, so <laughs> learning as I go. So I guess I better do that like subscribe thing. Well, I think I just did, so thanks for watching guys.